Hello, my name is Hawken and I'm a fourth year medical student and I am also an MCAT tutor in addition to a medical student tutor. And today I'll be talking about a physics question from the MCAT. And this is actually a question provided by one of my students from a double AMC practice test. Um, and so the question is a two kilogram mass and a five kilogram mass are connected by a massless cord suspended over a massless and frictionless pulley. If the acceleration due to gravity is G, what will be the acceleration of the masses after they are released from rest? And notice that all our answer choices are in multiples of G. So we need to find the acceleration of this entire system without regard for um, what the G variable is. We'll just keep G as the letter itself. And so thinking about this problem, we essentially have a two kilogram mass and a five kilogram mass suspended over a pulley we don't bother with the mass of the cord or the mass of the pulley. There's no friction to worry about. It's just these two uh, masses. And we're, we're going to ask the question to ourselves, what's going to happen when we let go of them? With what acceleration is this going to move? And you can just intuitively imagine this is going to move downward, but it's not going to move downward with the same rate of speed as it would if it was just a free hanging mass. Um, instead, it's going to move a little bit slower because this two over here is kind of providing a counterbalancing force. And so the force of this, um, this five is gonna be a greater force pulling down than this two is. And the net acceleration is gonna be the same for both sides. So the five is gonna move down with a certain degree of acceleration at the same rate as the two is going to move up. So the net, so the force vectors are going to be different magnitudes. So the five is going to have a larger force vector than the two, which we can de depict with these arrows. And note that the forces are both going down, whereas the acceleration of this whole system is going to be up on this side and then down on this side. So these arrows refer to our acceleration. These arrows refer to our forces. So now let's get into the math. And so hopefully you remember from Newton's second law, that mass is equal to, or excuse me, force is equal to mass times acceleration. Or another way of writing this is the acceleration of a system is equal to the mass, is equal to the net forces. So the net external forces divided by the total mass. And to make this simpler on ourselves, we're going to write it like this. So this is the total acceleration of the system without regard to the sign. Because again, on this side, the sign is negative, it's downward, whereas on this side, it's positive, it's going upward. So to solve for this, we're simply going to write A is equal to, and then for the net forces, we have to consider um, the, this force vector here compared to this force vector here. So first, for this force vector, we're considering the external force applied to this five kilogram mass, and we're going to write five kilograms times G. So G is the acceleration due to gravity. And then the other um, force applied is this one. And so we're going to write two kilograms times G. And now this one is actually going to be subtracted, and that's because the total system is moving down. And this force vector is pulling it up. So it's, it's opposing the main acceleration. And so we call this a negative force and this a positive force. Um, and then we're going to place these in parentheses. And on the bottom, the total mass of the system is pretty straightforward. It's seven kilograms. So then simplifying this, hopefully you'll see that it's equal to three kilograms times G divided by seven kilograms times G. And, or excuse me, there's no G on the bottom. And so this will simplify and our final answer will be three G divided by seven. So this is the net acceleration of the whole system. And it's going to be in a downward direction um, respective to the five kilogram mass. Hope this was helpful. Thanks guys.